everyone, welcome back to Grade 9 Chemistry. This is uh, Chemistry 14 and it is divided into the into, into three parts. The first part is activity number five, the chemist's mole. The second part is a practice on solving word problems on the mole concept. And the last part is activity number six, the mole map. We're still trying to finish um, learning competency number nine. Use the, co the mole concept to express mass of substances. If you want to follow through with your learner's module, you can open it in unit two. Module 4, pages 72 to 74. And let's begin. And so uh, for the first part, um, the chemist's mole, we have the following objectives. Uh, hopefully by the end of this activity, you will be able to apply the mole concept in completing a given set of data. Um, you need uh, to review chemistry 13 uh, for, for this. So if you weren't able to, to watch it file, or if you weren't able to do the sample problems in chemistry 13, I remember I gave you like around nine nine sample problems yeah so you may need to go back okay if you haven't seen that yet and then uh you need the following materials paper pencil and your periodic table of elements and so uh, what you need to do is to just complete the following table with the needed information so you have here carbon dioxide gold glucose car calcium fluoride and nitrogen gas um you need to look for their molar masses so which i think you already know and uh, upon finding the molar masses, you have to identify the number of moles. However, uh, the number of moles, um, you can't really get it as, uh, through the molar mass high yet. So what you need to do is to rely on, to get the number of moles, rely on the mass given here. Again, so uh, these are, uh, no, these work hand in hand. Yeah. And then uh, to get the number of particles, you need to, to get the number of moles. And then uh, representative, representative particles is easy. Just look at the substance. Okay, what kind of substance is it? If it's a covalent compound, it's uh, you put molecules. If it's an element, you put an atom. And then if it's an ionic compound, you just put formula unit. And so I'll give you time to finish with this table. You can now pause this video. If you have decided to continue, let us proceed over the activity. Answer the first question. Question number one. When is a particle classified as an atom, a molecule, or a formula unit? Pause this video if you need more time. Okay, let us continue. I see. Um, I think for the first uh, question, it was simple because if I gave you basically the answer a while back, okay, so I hope that you keep that in mind. Answer question number two. Show how you will how you will convert the mass of a given sample to number of moles and vice versa. So mass to moles and then moles to mass. How will you do that? I just show it. Pause this video if you need more time. If you have decided to continue, okay, let us proceed with question number, I know, with, with the answers. Right? So the following are the answers to uh, the questions and uh, you know the missing factors in the table. So uh, carbon dioxide is for it weighs it weighs forty four grams per mole. Um, two and a half moles of it will make one hundred ten uh, grams, and then uh, two and a half moles will also mean one point five zero five times ten raised to the twenty fourth power. Um, by the molecules, because carbon dioxide is a compound, is an is a covalent compound, and and then uh, these are the uh, following missing uh, missing uh, factors for the rest of the table. I will give you time to look at this and check your own work. Let us continue. Uh, question number one, the answer is, a particle is called an atom when it represents an element. And then the molecule in man when it, it represents a covalent or a molecular compound. And element and elements kung, um, yeah, and kung diatomic sila. And then the formula, formula unit naman is when it represents ionic compounds, such as uh, sodium, sodium chloride, Calcium fluoride and potassium chloride. Ayan. So uh, I guess the new thing that we introduced here is kapag um, the atomic molecule uh, we consider that as uh, as a as a molecular compound. Ayan. Okay. Question number two: uh, Mass is divided by the molar mass is equal to the number of mole. And then for the question uh, for for the you know for the uh, 
for the actual uh, process if you want to see uh, for yourself what is the actual process again i suggest you go back to chemistry chemistry 13 right? it's the video before this in the playlist yeah, we're done with the first part, activity 5, the chemist's mode. Now let's uh, try and answer um, sample problems on the model concept. Suppose that the cancer patient needs to increase his ascorbic acid or C6H8O6 intake to fight cancer cells. I suppose. Right, so how many moles of ascorbic, ascorbic acid does he need to complete the doctor's prescription of 13 grams of intravenous ascorbic acid every day for one month? And we suppose that one month means 30 days. Okay. And then the, the, the second the question is how many molecules of ascorbic acid does he need to does he need every day to fight the cancer cells? Okay, so uh, read the problem again. You can pause this video. Okay, if you have decided to continue, that means you understood the problem and the questions. Okay, you ma right, for the first part of the solution, we need to compute for the molar mass of C6H8O6 for one month. So uh, for the computation, you have to put C6H8O6, and uh, we get one of the molar mass, which is six atoms of carbon, eight atoms of hydrogen, and six atoms of oxygen, and the following are their atomic masses rounded up to the nearest one. You multiply them, and the products are going to be the following, 72, 8, and 96, respectively, for carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. You add these products up, you'll get the molar mass of uh, of uh, what should I call that? Of uh, ascorbic acid. It's 176 grams per one mole. Ibig sabihin, um, there are one, it, I mean, uh, ascorbic acid weighs 176 grams uh, per one mole of it. Okay, now for one month, we need to compute for the total amount of uh, ascorbic acid. Uh, we are going to create that by 30 days. So if there are 13 grams, if uh, one take of it is uh, 13 grams, Okay, 13 grams of ascorbic acid. We equate that as a uh, whole number by uh, putting it, I mean, uh, on top of uh, one day being the denominator. Para maging fraction siya. Uh, ibig sabihin kasi nito niyan, 13 grams of ascorbic acid uh, kada isang araw. So, gano karaming ascorbic acid niyan uh, when it comes to 30 days. So, if it's 30 days, um, that means, uh, yeah, we equate that by one month. That's the table of equivalence we'll be using. This is entirely time. Okay. You cancel out days because they are like terms. Now, what you'll be getting is uh, grams of ascorbic acid for one month. So, you multiply 13 by 30, you'll get 390 grams of, uh, of ascorbic acid in one month. Per one month. And yet. So you notice that we cancel out these units because again, one is in the, in the numerator and one is in the denominator and they are similar. Alright, so uh, 390 grams of ascorbic acid for uh, one month. Now the next part of our solution must be uh, the computation for the number of moles of, of ascorbic acid he needs to complete for the month using the molar mass. So what we, what we have here is, uh, na nasagot na natin itong first question, 390 grams per one month. Now we need to answer the number of uh, moles so that we get the number of molecules. Ayan. So uh, 390 grams of ascorbic acid, we equate that for one month, multiply it with one mole of ascorbic acid, uh, that is 176 grams of ascorbic acid. Where did we get this? It's from the molar mass, from the very uh, beginning. Okay, dun natin. Na kwa 176. Remember? Ay sinasabi nito for every one mole. Inequate nito ang grams of ascorbic acid sa mole. Ito naman inequate niya ang grams of ascorbic acid for the month. So uh, when we multiply them, ang mga cancel out dyan is yung grams of ascorbic acid and we'll be getting uh, moles per month. Okay, so we cancel out grams of ascorbic acid. Uh, I'm sorry, I was not able to cancel out this one. But we need to cancel that out. Okay, let me just get my pen. Ayan. Cancel this out. Ayan. And you'll be getting 2.22 moles of ascorbic acid for one month. Ayan. So, uh, ito, yung two po, ito yung buong uh, moles ng ascorbic acid para sa isang buong buwan. Now, what is the question? How many molecules of ascorbic acid does he need, to does he need every day to fight the cancer cells? I wait, I'm so sorry. I was not, we were not able to answer this yet. Pero uh, ito yun. Ito yung sagot para sa letter A. Okay, so 
Ang uh, tinatanong nga pala dito is how many moles of ascorbic acid? So, there it is. Uh, the answer is 2.22 moles of ascorbic acid per one month. Yet, ngayon yan, doon natin yung sasagutin. Ngayon din nga, natin sasagutin yung number of molecules naman for ascorbic acid that uh, he needs to take every day. So now that we know how many moles are there, uh, will he be needing to complete a doctor prescription of 13 grams of intravenous ascorbic acid every day for one month, we can now proceed with solving for the number of molecules of ascorbic acid he needs every day uh, to fight the uh, cancer cells. So basically, we'll be converting 13 grams of daily dose of ascorbic acid into molecules. So we know that uh, 13 grams is 1.3 times 10 raised to the first power grams of ascorbic acid equated with one day. And we also know that for every one mole of ascorbic acid, uh, it's equivalent to uh, 1.76 times uh, 10 raised to the second power grams of ascorbic acid. This is the molar mass. Okay? We just converted them into scientific notation so that it's easier to deal with them. And then we also know that for every one mole of ascorbic acid, there are 6.022 times 10 raised to the 23rd power molecules of ascorbic acid. So what we need to do now is we equate them. All right, so we cancel out like terms, like terms, like terms, and then what we get is uh, molecules of ascorbic acid per day. So you multiply 1.3 with 6.022, divide that with 1.76, because these are just basically ones, right? the answer will always be the number itself. And then uh, for the exponents, you add one with 23, and then you uh, you subtract 2 from that. Okay, what you'll be getting as the result is going to be 4.45 times 10 raised to the 22nd power molecules of ascorbic acid every day, each day. Yeah. Okay, so that's for sample problem number 1. Let us uh, proceed with sample problem number 2. So sample problem number 2 naman is aspartame, C14, H18, and 205 So we have four um, different elements here. It's a synthetic table sugar substitute used in uh, foods and food and drinks. If a, pro if a food product needs a 0.25 grams of uh, aspartame to sweeten the creamy cupcake, and you ate this food product, how many molecules of aspartame have you eaten? Right, so uh, the, solution, the first part of our solution is to compute for the molar mass of C14, H18, and 205, or aspartame in short. So you first report it, and then uh, count the number of atoms for uh, each of them. Okay, and then uh, let us just show the entire solution again. So we're naman tayo sa ating, ano, sa ating animation, so it's fine. At least now you see uh, the usual, uh, the usual, uh, the usual sequence of our of our uh, solution. So first, is you count the number of atoms for each of these elements in the compound, and then you uh, put side by side to the, side by side the uh, their atomic masses. So it's 12, 1, 14, and 16 for carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen, respectively. You multiply them, you get these products, and then you add them up, you get 294 grams per mole. And so that means. There are 294 grams of aspartame per one mole of it. Okay, the question is, if you have 0 0.25 grams of it, okay, so uh, how, how much molecules, how many molecules are there in 0 0.25 grams of aspartame? So the second part of our solution is to compute for the molar mass, uh, is still compute for the molar mass of 0 0.25 okay, grams of aspartame. So how do you do that? If you have 0 0.25 lang, not exactly one mole, so, gano karami yun? Well, you know kung gano karami yung one mole of aspartame, pero how about uh, if you have only 0 0.25 grams of it? I ha how, how, will, how will it be? So, for every one mole of, uh, of aspartame, there are supposed to be 294 grams. Okay, so, this 294 grams is only 0 0.25 grams. So, how will it be kaya? So, you are just going to cancel out the like, uh, yun yung mga magkakamukhang mga units and and then what you'll be getting is mole of aspartame so you divide 0 0.25 by 294 you'll be getting 0. Um, 8500 thousands about 100 thousands mole of aspartame and so may zeros all right so uh, did we already answer it okay not quite because what we're looking for really is molecules of aspartame so Alam mo na kung gaano karaming moles yon yung 0 0.25 grams. Now, um, gaano kaya karaming molecules na meron dyan? You know that for every 1 mole of aspartame, there are 6.022 times 10 
raised to the 23rd power uh, molecules of aspartame. Right? That's what you know. Pero how about if you only have 0 0.00085 moles? How will that be? So you can, you are just going to convert a high, uh, first um, 0 0.00085 uh, moles uh, into scientific notation. So express it into, into scientific notation. You'll get 8.5 times 10 raised to the negative fourth power moles of aspartame. So ito siya niyan. And then what you need to do, what you need to do is to put um, yung uh, Avogadro's number. So make sure that the molecules is on the num is in the numerator, and then yung nasa denominator will be yung moles. Like so, ayan. Para matirang unit, ang matirang unit is yung molecules. Okay, so you equate this as usual, equate this over one para maging uh, express talaga siya into fractions, and it's a whole number. Okay, so you cancel out, uh, I'm sorry talaga nag siya na, pero what you need to do is to first cancel these out para matira lang talaga is yung molecules of aspartame. Ayan, so what you'll be getting is, um, okay, what you'll be getting is, uh, you first, uh, 5.1187 times 10 raised to the 20th uh, power molecules. Pero, you know, uh, how did that happen? How did that happen? Uh, so first is you multiply 8.5 times uh, 6.022, so that's 8.5 times 6.022, and you'll be getting 51.187. And then you are going to subtract, uh, you're just going to add these uh, integers out, so it's negative 4 plus uh, 23, so that's going to be um, positive 19. Since it's 51.187, uh, that's actually greater than 10, um, I and mean greater than 9, so what you need to do is to Move the decimal point a bit to the left, and that will be giving you one more uh, positive one okay, for the exponent. So you'll be getting 5.1187 times 10 raised to the 20th power molecules of aspartame. Again, so you're done with the second part of the session. Practice on solving problems on the mole concept. Let us now proceed with the last part of the session. Activity 6, the mole map. You have the following objective. Um, just prepare a concept map on the mole concept. And it looks like this. Okay, so what you need to do, what you need to do is um, to choose okay, from among these terms sa ilalim. Ayan, pili lang kayo sa mga terms na dito sa ilalim. Ayan, and then uh, put them, place them in their, uh, no, in their, in the correct, uh, their correct uh, places here. Ayan, so that's what you need to do. I'll give you time to do this. Okay, you may now pause this video. Okay, if you have decided to continue, let us now check your work. Yeah, so um, matter is made up of particles, and uh, these particles can be atoms, ions, or molecules, depending kung ito ay element, ito ay covenant compound, or ito ay isang ionic compound. And uh, these can be, uh, their amount can be expressed in terms of a mole. Okay. Um, for every, uh, for every, you know, for every type of particle here, they can be expressed by in, in two moles. So, nasabi na nga natin. Which is equal to 6.022 times 10 raised to the 23rd power, uh, the number known as the Avogadro's number. And uh, the mole is a uh, mass expressed in grams per mole. Yeah, so I hope that you got uh, the uh, these correctly. Okay, so uh, you're done with the last part of this session, activity number six, the mole map. I'm hoping that I'll see you in chemistry a uh, number and na batayan <laughs> number fifteen. Okay, in the next uh, video. So this is Sir Carlos, and I hope that uh, you learned something today in, the, in this session of the knowledge catalog.